Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm bringing back out the HTC One M8 to show you how to set up a really great feature that has been brought to us um, in the Lollipop update. That feature I'm talking about is called Smart Lock. Now, if you don't know what that is, basically it's a way of unlocking your phone using various methods, and HTC allows for three various um, ways of doing this. One is using your face to unlock. It kind of searches your face and sees if you're the proper or the trained user um, and will allow it to unlock. Another way is by Bluetooth. So you, if you have a little Bluetooth device like a headset or something like that, your car for instance, um, then it'll unlock. Or you can do by location. So you can set your home, your job, or wherever else you like to do. Um, so basically I'm gonna show you how to get to it and then you can choose which uh, features you want. Now you probably think, well, why are you showing me how to get to it? It's probably, you know, just like any other thing. You go into your settings, you go in and look for it. Typically, because it's an unlocked feature, that should be under security, right? And you have your security, your screen security. You got screen unlock, kids mode, um, incoming calls, you know, all the normal stuff, device, device administrations, and so on. And there's no smart lock. So you'd probably go searching somewhere else or possibly just think, oh, I guess they didn't include that feature if you knew about it and you were looking for it. But this is somewhat of a little tricky thing. I don't know why it's hidden this way. Um, but basically, you first have to turn it on under Trusted Agents. And if you see, right here, I can't do anything with that. Trusted Agents is not selectable. It's grayed out. It says to use, first you've got to set a screen lock. So first they want you to make sure that you do have an actual lock. So we'll just set up the pattern lock. You can use any of them. Pattern lock's the quickest and easiest to go through. So continue, continue, confirm. So now we have the screen lock set up for the pattern lock. And, um, you know, you can if you use your screen locks, you can decide what kind of information you want on your screen notifications if you want them at all. You can say, no, you don't want them. But anyways, go through that. So what you do is you come down. And now, Trusted Agents is available. And that is where you actually turn it on. And there in Trusted Agents, you have, by Google, Smart Lock. So that is a Google feature. It's not a HTC feature. So you go ahead and turn it on, back out. And now you can go up to the top and there it is. Smart lock has now appeared and you can go in and set up these. Of course, you always got to confirm your security settings anytime you mess with security unlock stuff. And now you have your options. So you can do your trusted devices, which are those that are connected to Bluetooth and so on. Um, so it goes and it'll show you how to set that type of stuff up. It's pretty easy. You can also do with them, um, as it says here, um, NFC stickers. So if you have your... Um, you know, at work, you, you want to set it down on your desk in a docking station and have it unlock just so it's unlocked for you there. But as soon as you take it away from there, it goes back to lock. So that type of stuff. Um, Bluetooth things are nice because if you use a watch or an earpiece, um, as long as you have that on you. So basically, if someone were to take the phone from you and run off, the phone will lock itself up um, once it gets approximately 100 meters away, it says, um, from you. So, you know, you got to be out of the range of Bluetooth. So some Bluetooth features are, have a pretty good range. Um, but that's how you would set that up. So you just add the device and, and train it. Um, trusted places, just as it says, you can get things from Google Maps or you can add your own custom trusted places. Pretty self-explanatory there. And the trusted face. Um, and this is, they have had um, face unlock before, but this one does it quite a bit better because um, it actually has the normal pattern lock immediately, but it'll, as soon as you unlock the, the phone or hit the power button, it'll start looking for your face, and if it notices, it'll just unlock it, and you don't have to, um, before, actually only use that feature. So if you don't want it to look at your face, if you're in a dark thing, you don't have to wait for it to tell you, um, didn't find your face, now you can put the code in, you can just go and, and do it. So, it's pretty nice. Um, and the, uh... The face unlock is pretty decent, actually. I've only gone through the first initial thing that you can improve your face matching. So you take it to different locations, different uh, um, light, dark areas, different angles, looking down at the phone, holding it up at eye level, you know, various things. Obviously, it's best to train, you know, improve face, do it over and over again, and really hold it in the way that you most commonly hold your phone when you unlock and look at it. That way it sees you. Um, and so it's a really good way. So since I've had that set up, it's already on and now I've got my features turned on. Um, we can go out and hopefully see, I don't know if it's gonna see me with the angle of the camera here, but you hit the thing right there, it's looking for my face and the light's not good enough in here so it's not gonna see me. Um, but now you see it's unlocked so if you were to go and do that now you have to hit your pattern. Um, 
but if it does find me, um, let's see, uh, let's see if I can get this light on here. Hopefully it doesn't blow out the camera too much. Uh, I don't think it's going to find me because, let's, let's kind of try to get a little bit closer here. There it goes, and now it unlocked. So hopefully the camera picked that up. It didn't go too badly out of focus. I had to kind of stoop down to see it, uh, for it to see me actually. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you do the screen unlock um, and get smart locks working. So remember, you first have to set a pattern, then you scroll down to trusted agents in advanced, select that, turn on Google smart lock, and then go back up to the top and you will have the feature there, smart lock, and you can choose which ones you would like to use. Um, if you want to use just one or all, you can. It's up to you. Um, so that's how you get to it, and that's how you set it up. So hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Um, while you're down there, give me that thumbs up if you like this, these videos I'm doing for you, if it's big help. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's much appreciated. And until next time, thanks for watching.